On this episode of Design Cut Build, Iggy must finally have gone to history class because we're building a sundial. Hopefully he learned how to read it. Let's get ready to design, cut, and build. Welcome to another episode of Design Cut Build. We've got a quick one for you this week and I'm really excited to get started. But here's the thing, I don't know anything about sundials. Do you, Iggy? It's the world's original solar powered clock. What's there to figure out? All right, well here's what I do know. On this episode, we're gonna be using a plasma cutter, we're gonna be using a plate marker, we're gonna be using the pipe cutter, and we're gonna be doing it in our new TorchMate garage. Right? I am so excited, let's get started. We took a little time to brainstorm, but I gotta say, Iggy really outdid himself this time. He played around with the historical aspect of sundials and designed the base to look like an old architectural column. His plan included a pipe surrounded by 2D profiles of a column cut in half to give it a 3D effect. The actual sundial then sits on top. So, if you're keeping track at home, there are three different cut jobs for this project. The top, which gets cut on the Torchmate 4400, the column profiles on the Torchmate X, and the pipe on the Master Pipe Compact Profiler. This guy right here is our pipe cutting machine, anywhere from one to eight inch diameter pipe. So this thing rotates this way yep. as that cuts. cuts this way, yep, oh, exactly. Man. We're just gonna do something real simple. Uh, two rip cuts, one on each end, and then we uh, programmed in a bunch of squares for a slot. For the slots, yeah. Yep, exactly. Okay. First, always wear a seatbelt, guys. I only did one on purpose. Because from here, if something's wrong, we have to fix this, not that. We need uh, 10 more. 10 more. Okay, so with the pipe cut, as well as the 11 column profiles, the last thing is the sundial itself. Iggy, did you manage to figure out how these work yet? Don't worry, I've got it under control. I just went on the Google, looked up sundial calculator. I learned there that you need to have your sundial gnomon set to the correct angle by whatever latitude that you're at. And then from there, it gives us all of the angles for each hour on the sundial plate. So that way we know what time it is when uh, the sun is at a set horizon. Never a doubt with this guy. Having someone definitely show you the tricks, the shortcuts, huge benefit, huge benefit. We're to forever to learn that without coming here. Now that we're ready to cut the top part of our sundial out, you'll notice on the screen itself that the parts that are purple are actually gonna be run on the plate marker, and the parts that are red will be cut with the plasma cutter. Extremely loud, so ear protection should be required. What? So the plate marker is a great addition to the machine and a total game changer. I hope I can get one for mine in my shop. Look at that. I think we should TIG weld this one on. Yes, absolutely. I think you should take well that one. <laughs> <laughs> so as Iggy gets ready to TIG weld the Gnomon, I start getting the base together. So working with those column profiles was a little tricky. I kind of eyeballed the first angle, and, and really you got to be consistent, because by the time you get to the last one on number 11, it's either a little too far in or a little too far out. 
between episode one and episode four, my eyes aren't getting any better, but I'm starting to work through it and figure it out. I'm learning a lot of little tricks, and I'm starting to have dreams about measuring. Okay, enough for me. Iggy, how's it going for you? Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little trick that I like to do. You've got a trick. We're gonna go a half inch here. That's why I marked an inch with the half. I'll stop, flip it around, go the other side. Usually I let it cool down just a little bit, then start back up. Keeps it straighter? Yep, keeps it a little bit straighter. Very nice. Nice coloring, not too much heat. That should work. Excellent work, Iggy. And the last step was to weld the top to the base. See, I would have done such a crappy job that it would have actually punched through. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, beautifully done, and a really All nice right. design, Iggy. Thank Good job, you, man. I think it turned out really nice. Really, really cool. All right, well, we're gonna take this outside and let it patina really nice. Roll credits, another one in the bag. We designed it, we cut it, and we built it. See you next time. Hey, and thanks for watching an episode of Design Cut Build. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Leave a nice comment, a thumbs up, and be sure to tell a friend. And if you have an idea you'd like to share, please visit fabricationforum.com and tell us all about it. Thank you for watching. To learn more about Lincoln Electric's line of plasma cutting tables, please visit torchmate.com.